In 40 years of coaching, Dave Wanstead hasn't changed much. Now 67 years old, the six foot four football lifer still looms large. It's just nowadays the players are smaller. The former head coach of the Chicago Bears is now instructing the fifth graders at St. Francis School in Wilmette. I have two daughters. I got six grandchildren now. Each daughter has three, and five of them are boys. So my oldest one, we kind of held off on him, held off on him playing. He's going to be 12, and he's playing tackle football for the first time up at St. Francis there in Wilmette. The time I spend with those kids now, I mean, you know, I won't get that back. I know that. Fellow St. Francis assistant coach Peter Lee says he had to emphasize to his son and to the other players just how special this experience is. But just remember one thing, there's an old expression, those that stay will play. Anybody, what Wanstead is just as energetic and engaged. as he was in 1993 when he took on perhaps the most difficult job in the history of Chicago sports. Following Mike Ditka. It was, but I felt like I was ready for it, you know, and I didn't shy away from it. I chose to do it. In many ways, no Bears coach Bears. since has escaped Ditka's long shadow. That didn't bother me. The biggest challenge that I had here was we had 14 players on the team when I showed up, 93, that had played on the Super Bowl team. In his first year with the Bears, the team went 7-9, and nine, a two-game improvement over Ditka's tumultuous final year, and in year two, the team made the playoffs. Every coach has a window where he's got to hit it big, or fans lose interest, media, everything, it, it just doesn't work. I was hard-headed, I'll admit it, that I didn't put enough value on the quarterback position. Wanstead had successful stints as a head coach in Miami and then at his alma mater, Pitt, then as an assistant in Buffalo and Tampa Bay before returning to Chicago, which he says feels like home. Well, Chicago is like a big Pittsburgh, you know? I mean, it's the people, the restaurants, uh, the cigar. I mean, I, I just kind of fit in, and that's why I took the job. I just felt comfortable. The former All-American offensive lineman turned coach has found a second act as a commentator. So, I mean, God bless him. I love him. He did a fantastic job. But their future's with Wentz. Let's not kid ourselves here. There's some coaches you say, boy, these are media guys. We love the. I was always so protective. I, I said the minimum that I had to say to you guys or to me, you know, to us guys. And that was just my personality. I just, but once I knew I was pretty much done coaching, then I didn't care anymore. Who cares, you know? But at his heart, he's a coach. And after 40 years in the game, there's no sign of letting up. He says what started as a coaching cliche has actually morphed into a life philosophy, playing to the whistle. It means never giving up. And that is some solid coaching advice, whether you're playing at the pro or the Pop Warner level. I watch practice and it's over and I, they're walking off and I said, hey guys, let me tell you something. This is the first practice I've been to in 40 years that I did not hear a whistle blow. I'm going to get all you guys a whistle. If you're coaching, you play to the whistle. None of them had whistles. So I went out and got the coaches whistles, and, and now there's whistles at practice. In Wilmette, Mike Lowe, WGN News.